Hello everyone, this is Li Jianhua from CGTN and this is one and only... The one and only. <laughs> Andy Borum, I'm a New Zealander living uh, in Shanghai. So uh, where are we today? So this is a beer factory. Oh, I can smell uh, it. You can smell it, the hops. The yeast. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeast. It, it's very factory interesting because it looks very European, these buildings uh -huh. here. Yeah, because this factory, the beer factory, originally was founded by a German British businessman. Ah in 1903. So if you look around, you can see the sign of 1903 almost everywhere. So it has more than 100 years of history. So if it was started by uh, British and German, is it a Chinese company? Yeah, it's a now? Chinese company, state owned. Ah, yeah. nice. ah. I so guess we're gonna... Today, I would like to bring our viewers to a beer museum to see how beers are made. You know, they have a uh, interesting habit of drinking beers here. Ah. The locals usually drink beers out of plastic bags. Oh, try that. I've never tried it and I've never seen it. Yeah. But I do know that Qingdao is very famous for beer, so uh -huh. this is the place. Yeah, of course. Mm. If you come to Qingdao, you have to try the beers here and take and tickle your taste buds. <laughs> Especially <laughs> with seafood. Well, yeah. I guess we're going to learn the process. Have you okay. seen a beer factory before? Uh, never, actually. Uh. But today we have made an appointment with Miss Ye. Uh, who is going to show us around? VIP tour. Let's do it. VIP tour, that's true, exactly. Hello! Hello! Hello. Hi! Hello. How are you? I'm your guide today. This is Great! You. Hi! Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world over there? Hello everyone, welcome to Tinka Beer Museum. Ah. Yes, please. What a warm welcome, thank you. <laughs> what do we have today? Yeah. I couldn't mm. help but notice this uh, giant machine. Uh, we are now in the brew house a hundred years ago. Oh wow! Yes, I will show the left one, the Siemens motor, made uh, in 1896, uh, and can still working. 18. It can still work today. Yes, wow. and uh, only this motor can still working now. Even okay. Siemens motor does not have an older one. Oh, oh wow! So this is the oldest version of this motor in the world. That looks really archaic, I have to say. Mm. Yeah, if we give it a closer look. And mm -hmm. the Sims company came it back in mm. 1997. Oh. Want to buy it back? Okay. Ah. But we declined it. Okay, Siemens, right? <laughs> yes, ah. for history. They wanted to buy it. Yes. But, but but how come you didn't sell this motor to Siemens? Uh, 14 million won in 1997. Ah, okay. Bought it back. Well, that was lots of money. It is worth a fortune, I have to say. Yeah, but it's history, so ah. yeah. it's very important, not just for them. It's obviously mm -hmm. they want to buy it back because it's a piece of history, but it's yeah. also important for China and yeah. China. Yes. That's true. Uh, Chinese worker keep it to turn. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there is a magnetic file. Yeah, you Let's can see, see the it. label here. What it says. Take a look. Take Siemens. A look. I can yeah. only make out that is the Siemens, Siemens. of there, and there are some figures on it. 1896. 1896. Wow, it looks solid, very yeah. high quality. So I have to tell us the uh, witness of history. Yeah, more than 100 years. I can't imagine. And this is connected. We can tell to a vat or something upstairs. Yes. Um, oh, those are huge. Is it a vat? Yeah. Okay, let's go upstairs. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. So I guess we're going to see the process of yeah. brewing beer. Uh, it says old brew house. Old house. Okay. It's the first step of brewing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. This looks really old. Look at the staircase. Yeah, but you know it's safe because it's been here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh. So we can see some giant bats over here on the second floor. Yes. It looks real old. It's like uh, yeah, it's made of copper. Red copper. Ah, yeah. Like red made copper. of red copper by uh -huh. Germany in 1903. Ah. So what does this one? What is this one used for? Uh, scapulation. Uh, we put material inside it. Okay, please. Okay. Look at the video here. Oh, there's a video. <laughs> yeah. There's a video. Uh, material like barley malt, uh -huh. rice, water, okay. and hops. Rice, barley malt. Barley malt. Water, water hops so hops and yeah. this is basically the boiling process right and we don't um, use bats like these anymore today yeah. um, but uh, why are there four the well, there are four it's a different them. it's different ah. first uh -huh. first this one oh this is number one this is number one ah. uh, rice first right. is rice so we need to put rice in this joint fat first ah. yeah, okay first. and second mm. is that ah, it goes okay. here more, number two more, 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 exactly. more. okay more. And the third one is filtration. Yeah. So if we turn left, yes. and then I can see that the filtration process over there. 
Yeah. Wow. And the last one, the boiling with hops. Ah, boiling with hops. Okay. So how long does it take to go from one, two, three, three four? Four. Uh, yes, about uh, seven point five hours. Seven point five hours. Then after when it comes here, you can just drink it, right? Uh, it's no. good, but uh, not beer. It's not beer yet. Not beer yet. Oh, oh, it looks so. I would like to look inside. To give a closer look here. Oh yeah, this has some. Is it barley? Is it barley? It's barley. barley right? Yeah. It's barley. So it would turn around. It turn around. This is the uh, filtration process. Yes. Filtration. Okay. So it revolves and then so you're gonna filtrate. Filtrate uh, uh, some uh -huh. uh, vinaigre. Uh, vinaigre. Mm, yeah. What what is it? Ah. It's like it's basically like the drags of. Uh, like the uh, whole thing of the, the garbage. garbage. Yeah. <laughs> the vina, the mm. vina can fit baby pigs. Ah, <laughs> okay, you can feed it to pigs. Yes, yeah, so you recycle. So nothing's wasted. Yes, nothing wasted. Wow, that's oh. good. So how much can be held in here? Yeah. Uh, it's, the capacity is about nine tons. Nine, nine tons. tons. So it's nine tons, like nine thousand. Nine thousand liters. Wow, okay. nine thousand liters. That is a lot. Yes, but today we use stainless steel wow. that. Uh, can fill 100, 100,000 oh. liters. Oh. 100,000 <laughs> liters. So it is like 10 times as big as this one. Yes. So today you have 10 times more production capacity, probably many more customers because today. <laughs> too many yeah. people need uh, beer. So you use vats like this in the past, like 100 years ago? Uh huh. Did you? When did you stop using this? Yeah. Uh, until, until 1995. Until oh. 1995. So you started using vats like these uh, starting 1903 when the factory was founded. Yes, using it. Wow. That is so like this has been out of use for like 30 years. For 30 years already. Mm. And they, they used these vats for 90 years, 9 decades. So high quality like that. High quality. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can buy this one back too. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of copper. Yeah. Oh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, there is a scientist working there. Yeah. Who is he? Um, he is a scientist. His name Hans, Hans. from Denmark. From Denmark. Yes. Okay. Because he bring east uh. and like this in invent his system east uh. propagation system, clone east. You know, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So we can keep the traditional east until now, mm. hundred years ago. Wow. Oh, so, so the the same east. Yes. From 1903 is still here today. Yes, still here. That is a history of 100 years already, 110 years. So it's does the propagation? Yeah, it's a long time. So does that mean the flavor is the same yes. from 100 years ago? Yes, I can say the yeast is a soul beer. It's a mm -hmm. secret of Tinda beer. Oh, oh so but I don't think they are still using. They are using the yeast that they propagated used 100 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's propagated. So that's from this so machine. This is the technique. Yeah. yeah. So he invented the technique of uh -huh. yeast propagation. Ah. Wow. So important guy. Yeah. So yeah, we let him work. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not disturb him. Yeah. He's working diligently, apparently. For more than a hundred years. For more than a hundred years, <laughs> sitting there, you know, in the lab. Tough work. It's more than 996. <laughs> oh, so we're looking at the raw materials yes. for beer brewing. Yeah, and beer is liquid bread. Ah, yeah, liquid, yes, bread. Yeah. liquid bread. Liquid bread. Called it yeah. liquid bread. Yeah, because the most. The I like the bread. It's a good. Yeah, bread. yeah. It's body, body. Ah. Oh, okay. So this is the floor malting in 1930s. In the 1930s? Yeah. Wow. Floor malting? We'll floor malting. We the barley on floor and uh. we'll wait for 4 to 7 days to make sprouts. Oh, oh. so it sprouts and then it's this sprouting process. Yes. Then we will bake it. Uh, uh, the light barley to make light beer, uh, uh, black one to make stout beer, black beer. Oh, black stout beer. beer. So, and the different flavor. Now I know why we have light beer and black beer. Different process. Different Which process. One you like? uh, I like light beer. I like light beer. Light beer. Yeah, the same here. So we don't use the uh, like the same way of the process. Yeah, of uh, sprouting now anymore. So this was in the 1930s. 30s. Now we have different technologies and techniques involved. Yeah, mm. today oh. there is a morning factory in Qingdao. Mm. Morning factory? Yes. Oh. Uh, like the video. <laughs> ah, oh, okay. So you just work with the, uh, that other factory to do it. Yeah. Faster, so now, cleaner. Cleaner, yeah. yeah. That everything has become automatic and ah. that is about you in the past. Industrialization. Industrialization. Mm. Some awards, a lot of awards, important. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to see here? I will show you the process oh. of brewing. 
I think this is the most important part of it. If you want to know about it's like, beer brewing, you have to come to this part. Yeah, this is like being in school, science class. <laughs> yeah, science class. Okay. Yeah, maybe you can well, brew beer by yourself next this time. Is a maybe not. <laughs> what do we have over here? Uh, do you remember the four big parts? Uh, the, the vat? Yeah. Yes, it's our material, barley malt, hops, mm. and rice. Put them in one by one. Oh, uh, so these are the four? Yeah, the four. Okay. Sacrification, and gelatinization, filtration, boiling. Warming. Okay, those are the four yes. bats we saw just now. Okay. Oh, so this is wort. Yeah. This is okay. wort. You can't drink it, right? <laughs> Maybe you can, but it's very sweet and not beer. Oh, that sweet. Is, I like sweet. <laughs> that is a 97 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Celsius. So it's nearly boiling. Yeah. yeah that's mm. boring it. Okay. Then we will cool down wort oh. to 10 degrees. To, oh, 10 to 10 degrees. So from 99 degrees to 10 degrees. Maybe uh, 100 degrees to 10 degrees. Okay. How long does it take to cool from 100 to 10 degrees? Cool, just very fast. Oh, uh, yeah. fast. Okay, and it's going to be a drop. Like, yeah, but okay. the important is fermentation. Uh, fermentation. Fermentation, oh. very important. Mm. Uh, with yeast, about one month. Oh, one one month. month? About one For month. For fermentation. For fermentation. And later we're going to see fermentation. Yeah, and uh, we will got raw beer, uh, original beer. Can we drink raw beer? Yes, later you will drink first raw beer. Oh, okay. okay. I love that. Nice. <laughs> I think that's the best part of it. <laughs> the yes. drinking acid of beer. Very, 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 very fresh. Okay. Okay. Nice. And then we'll filtration, filter yeast. Okay. Filter yeast is the beer looks very clear. Ah, and okay. draft beer, mm, called okay. draft beer. And the last one in packaging line oh, is packaging. sterilization. Okay. Uh, well, I call it bottled beer. Bottled, bottled beer. beer. Bottled okay, beer. bottled beer and tin. And beer. your bags you have here. Ah. <laughs> the bags of beer. Okay. So <laughs> later we're going to see fermentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think that is a very important segment. And after that, we're going to have packaging. On the assembly line, yeah, yes. I'd like to see those. Yeah, I really want to see. I think it's going to be much faster than a hundred years ago. <laughs> Absolutely. I like call them one day beer, one week beer, one year beer. One day beer, one, day one beer. week beer. Why one? one, year. one year. Why is it called one day beer? One yeah. day beer, raw beer, um, which which is inside it, um, and I we can't sell it outside. Ah. Just keep one day. Oh, okay. you've got to drink it the same day. Yeah. Oh, okay. One so one week beer, you can keep it for one week. One mm -hmm. week. Ah, got it. Okay. And keep cold. Oh, and one year beer. beer is oh. after sterilization. Oh. So one year you can pack oh. the beer. Yes. Oh, okay. I would like to check out fermentation. Yeah, because it's going to be really unique. Yeah. You would have to come to a beer factory yeah. to try this because you can't sell it outside. Of course. Nice. One day beer. I'm going to try the one day beer. Okay, beer. Okay. And the whole time to brew beer about two to uh, three months. Two to three, three months, months. Two to for three the three whole months. process. Yes. Oh, I love the weather, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful out here. In the garden, you find the real hops. A real hops. They're plants. Where? Where is it? Real hops. Ah. Oh, so this is what makes the, the beer flavor. Yeah. Oh, there was okay, one. Okay, here's think... the real hot now. Yeah. Oh, does it smell like beer? <laughs> it smells a, a bit bitter, funny. Bitter, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is this right? Do this? Yes. You have to do this. Yeah. Okay. I like the you smell. Have, it could be perfume. <laughs> Xiangxue. <laughs> it's very strong. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's fresh. It just smells like beer, like the foam, you know, like the top. Like foam longer. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've never seen and something like this before. And there's a bitter flavor. Oh. If you eat it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not eat it. <laughs> so this is the fermentation process. Yeah. Oh, I see. In the early days of the factory, the water fermentation workshop is around 1.03 meters thick. Oh, wow. And this is the original bowl, right? So I guess it's like this. One meter. Oh. What One is meter. it for? To protect One the heat meter. or? Yeah, keep it cold. Oh, keep it oh, cold. Keep it cool. Yeah, it's okay. because of fermentation room. It looks like a cellar. Now it's getting oh, dark. Oh yeah, now we're into the cellar. Ah. You find the cooling system around the Oh, house. these are cooling pipes. Yes. Cooling yes. system. Yes. And I can see some... What is that? Reflective. It's like a sift. <laughs> oh, so you sift the... Can, can I touch it? Uh, you can touch it. Okay. Gently. Okay. Not too much. <laughs> this is very much like a sieve. Is that you gonna? What's that? It's like filtration. Neglect the yeast. Ah, neglect the yeast. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. Not get, not to get rid of the yeast. Maybe like the yeast can uh, neglect like the ah. yeast tablets for digestion. 
Ah, how old is this? Oh, maybe 100 years ago. 100 years. Yeah. But still good quality. Ah, it seems well. like this museum is really popular. There are so many tourists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's getting really popular. I know this is one of the uh, most famous tourist hotspots here. In Qingdao, in for Qingdao. sure. You have to see Qingdao. Yeah. Yeah. So people just uh, keep coming and going. Yeah. Mm. And now we are in the traditional fermentation room. Oh, wow. Yes. Also, hey, please look at here. In the ah. video, there oh, is a scientist. This is fermenting top, you call it. Oh, there was a scientist. Another scientist. Oh, wow. Another Hans. Hans, another Hans. Oh, okay. Holy crap. He from Germany. Uh, ah. So he's going to test the beer, I guess. Yes. And it might also bring yeast, Qingdao beer yeast, from Germany. It might the original yeast yes, we still have today. The first Qingdao beer. And apparently he's doing some experiments over there, checking the temperature. He's testing uh, the sugar percentage. Oh, sugar percentage. Sugar percentage. Yes. And then later he will share beer to you. Oh, really? Really? Ready. How does it work? Yes, to he's the drinking beer. beer. Okay, then, uh, take a swig. Take a swig? Is it good, Han? Yes. He's laughing. Wow. Oh, you know. <laughs> wow. Is this really beer? Yes. You get it? Wow. Huh? It's like 3D it's really interactive. Water. Yes, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank like you, Hans. <laughs> so the first beer actually was produced right from this place. Yes. In, actually here. In, in the top. It's in the first top. fermentation. Ah. In, uh, the word is yeast about seven days. Oh, in here. Seven, seven days, days in here. Yeah, but just the first beer, ah. um, a little sweet, but no alcohol. And we need a second fermentation in big tanks. Oh, so if it's mm -hmm. not if it's got sugar still, it's not alcohol. Yes. So the sugar becomes alcohol. Uh, after fermentation. Ah. Oh, I got it. I've got it. So if you drink so sweet beer, it's not alcoholic. <laughs> beer. True. I've learned a lot. Yeah. So, no. far. so it's the process of making beer, fermentation, and storing and now beer. We have, oh, this storing is beer. This is fermentation. And the, the, the right one is all barrel. Ah. It's all barrel. Oh, yeah. It's all. This is all. It can feel How six, old is it? Oh, 1903. 1903, okay. original oak 110 barrel. years, over 110 years already. Wow. This but is now old. it's empty. <laughs> now it's empty. Yes. So how come you have something, why do you store alcohol or beer in, oak? in this barrel? But it's there, um, at the time no oh. other male. Oh, you didn't have any other choice? Yes. Okay. So you have like to use wine, oak. like beer, or use the uh, oak. But like, why not some other type of trees or something? And it's um, difficult to clean. Oh, yes. okay. So later, uh, after First World War, we use an uh, iron tank. Iron but tank? Need, yes, but need a uh, work, worker inside to clean it. Oh, wow. Yes, it can, its capacity is 9 tons. 9 tons. It's yeah. the same as the vet. Yeah, that is. Six tons. Uh, Six tons. It, it means if you drink one bottle every day, it's not for 30 years. Oh my god, <laughs> for 30 years. <laughs> for 30 years. Wow. So how does that, when he cleans it, does he go in here? Yes, he cleans it. It's a very important job. How can wow. you go in here from this hole? It's so small, look my yeah. hand. This is yeah. so small, so we have to go in from this hole and then clean the, uh, clean clean the barrel. The, yeah, yeah. Oh. yes. And today we use stainless steel one. Oh, and okay. So this? Under. You still don't you, you don't use this today? Not yeah, anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never seen a giant. It's like a, a cask like this. Still. Wow. Yeah. This is something really new to me. I think we have come to this part, the history of the exhibition Ting Tao beer. Yes. And, and beer in general, I think. Yeah. The origin of beer. Yeah, the first beer invented oh. by Sumer. Ah, Sumerian. Ah, Sumerian. Like six yeah. thousand years ago. Wow. So beer is from six thousand years ago. Yes. Oh wow. That is a long time. <laughs> yeah. So the beer we have today is following a process of six thousand years. Interesting. Sumerians, they had the uh, one of that was one of the earliest civilizations mm. in human history. So they usually have like everything first. So, so when we have humans, where we have humans, we have beer. <laughs> yeah. So after. Uh, industrial revolution, so the beer become more standardized. Oh, uh, industrialized everything. Wow, okay. this is like a bar. It's a drinking time. 
So we're gonna grab a beer. Yeah, let's do it. I see the pest in the bag. Oh, nice. Some snacks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna try. This is the best part. Where should we go? It's very uh, busy in here. It's really busy today. I can't wait today. So let's go find a place. Let's find a place. Yeah. Ah, let's go to the counter. That's it's like an English pub in here. That's the exact same. So we try. Cheers, Cheers mate. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, beer cloudy. Cloudy, yeah, unfiltered. This is unfiltered beer. The same, right? So how should we, if we want to be professional, how should we taste yeah, the beer? What's the etiquette? Ah. Uh, three steps. Three steps. The first one, look, look. Look. The color. The color. Yes, cloudy. Cloudy. Golden. Cloudy and golden color. Uh-huh. And cold, cold, keep longer. Okay. And the good beer keep at least three minutes. Oh, the foam will be three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, the foam. Wow. The foam will stay here for three minutes. If it's good. It's running out of foam. Yeah, because, because you drank it. it. <laughs> okay. And the second step. Oh, raw beer. Mm. Fresh. Ah, yeah. It is nice. Third step, I know it. Drink, right? Drink, yeah. Have a swig. So should we just have a small, just small or? A big goal. Yeah. Okay. We have really the passion for the beer. It's pretty cool. When you go way down, mm. tastes nice. pretty good actually. It's quite fresh. So now we are professional beer tasters. Next time when I go to the pub, I'll do this. Wow. It's like drinking wine. I mean, I, I never knew that there is this special etiquette when it comes to drinking beer, beer drinking. Yeah. Okay. And then you. Okay. Let me do it one more time. Yeah. Look. It's cloudy, and then you look at the foam to see how long it will stay in your cup. Mm -hmm. Three minutes, the best quality. Yes. And then you. Five minutes. Oh, you smell it. We can we swirl? Yes. You swirl. Course. We can make the foam bigger, bigger. and then. Oh, no. No. I think I'm enjoying it already. <laughs> it's very good. And the, oh, the peanuts. These are nuts together, right? Yes. Yeah, nice flavor. Remember I told you they have this habit of drinking beer out of plastic bags. Mm. And I never knew that they usually, when it comes to beer drinking, it comes with snacks. Mm. Peanuts. Peanuts, uh, not only peanuts. And uh, yeast and hops. In here? Yeah. Yeast and hops. Can you give me a close drink, maybe? This is honey roasted. It's Very nice. nice. Yeah. Is this salt? Uh, another, sugar? maybe tomorrow. I will I'm gonna be a professional beer. Guy. This is sweet. Oh, wow. We have, we have a gift. How do you feel about this beer? Yeah, really good. I'm glad I learned how to taste beer professionally, but I feel like if I'm in the pub and I do this, yeah. people may think I'm crazy. Usually it's the etiquette of drinking wine. Yes, exactly. You look at it and then you swirl it and then you drink it, have a sip. But it's different when it comes to beers, you have to gulp it down. Yes. Especially if you have some beer. Specifically, it like beer is a bit more less refined of a culture, but it's not. It actually has a lot of culture too. Yeah. Mm. How about beers in your country, in New Zealand? We have a lot of uh, beer. People love beer in New Zealand. There's a really famous brand called Tui. Tui, actually. It's good. Really. Tui is like a, a bird in New Zealand. It's only found in New Zealand. So it's special. And for us, Tui beer is special too. Oh, we have our gift. Okay. Oh. It's a gift for you. It's a present. Like a collector's really? bottle. Oh, thank you. Wow. The pictures. Oh, it's, it's us. It's a different picture. Let's take a look at it. It's us on it's the beer. Us. We took the photo yesterday and they uh, put our photos on the label. It's a keeper. Wow. 
Which one do you like? Which one do you prefer? Uh, two of them. Yeah, two of them. I like both. You like both. Yeah. You like both. Like yeah. Maybe. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for your gift and everything. We can put it in the box. box for Experiencing a huge increase in South Korea as well, oh. especially uh, in 2019. Oh, Do you know the reason? It's because of the popularity of malatang, like the hot spot. <laughs> okay. I love malatang. It's so spicy and hot, and then they need something that is cool. 
and they go, go way down, and we find it just now. That's you made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some mala tang probably, yeah. and some beer. It sounds good together. Yeah. Okay, here shows the packaging. Oh, these are all the packaging machines. And the best worker is use jaw to protect bottles. Oh, oh so the bottles weren't the right. packaging process. With okay. the straw around it. Yeah, I, I think we need to remind our viewers actually. Uh, A long history. Yeah, yeah, it was used back in the 1990s probably. Yeah. Or 1903. 1903. Okay, the past the century. Oh, and we can see that the cost in 1903, so this is not new. Mm. We are using some new technologies and techniques now. Mm. So everything has become industrialized and modern. Cleaner, faster, cheaper. Yeah, that's true. That is what we call industrialization. Yes. And then we use the cake. Oh, that is cakes. the modern cake. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we have oh. cakes oh. in New Zealand a lot. I've never <laughs> seen a cake. In like inside. inside out. Inside is cold. So it protects the cool, right? Okay. Cool temperature. Can I touch it? <laughs> we already touched okay. it. <laughs> That's the insulation material. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, but I never realized the inside is smaller than outside. So oh. it doesn't hold as much as you think. Oh, that's true. <laughs> right? Yeah. In party, mm. now we're going to see many cakes. Cakes. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So now we are moving on to the next stop. I can tell from here that is the modern, modern pack packaging, packaging line. line. So let's go in and check it out. I mean, for museum goers, this is definitely the place to be. It's a must visit. Oh, there are so many tours today. It's a real packaging line. Oh, this is the and real one. The left one is here, and the right is here. Oh, wow. So it's all empty now. Yes, it's empty. Only one yes. worker standing there. Oh, actually, some imagery is nobody. Ah. So, there are so many empty tins here. Yeah, and the next is filling beer. The next is just, uh, filling beer. Then see the bottles are being filled now. You can see the, it's the labels. Yes, the bottles are not labeled. It's a filling machine that can fill 10 bottles per second. 10 wow. bottles per second. Wow, that is super fast. It's much faster than you can drink. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, how much do you produce each day? Each day, oh. uh, maybe 40, uh, 4 million bottles. 4 million bottles, bottles each day. Each so, day, each day. Exactly. so for wow. how about every year? Every year about uh, uh, 8 million kilometers. 8, 8 million, million kilometers. Yeah. Kilometers. 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 That's I mean, a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's a staggering figure for me. I can't comprehend. Yeah. The beer is a fifth yeah. uh, beer company in the world. Wow, the fifth largest the in the world. Oh. I can tell from this assembly line. I can also see a lot of this here. The caps here. Yeah. It's going to move shortly. I think it's I think ah, magnetized. It is moving now. Yeah, the belt is magnetized. It's magnetic and the, uh, the list are moving on. Mm. Okay, so it is a capper, right? A capper, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Oh, you can see all the bottles getting the caps on here. Yeah, and the bottles are coming down here. Okay, waiting, waiting to be labeled. <laughs> and next is customization. Customization. Uh, I've, sorry, I just forgot how many bottles of beer can produce in each minute, each second. Ten, Ten bottles per second. Bottle Ten bottles per second. Per second. Well, that is moving really fast. You can see this touch screen. Oh, well, this is an introduction to the production line. The production line. This is high tech. Ah, next page. Oh wow, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back. This is the filling machine. I love this museum. I love how it incorporates like history and, and modern, modern technology. technology. This is touch screen. Oh, this is UFO. So it's make it so scientific. <laughs> yeah. I'm still so overwhelmed by this assembly line. Hey, here's something very interesting. Yeah. These bottles have been rejected. Oh, because they're not filling yes. up. Yes. What's wrong with them? Yes, it's maybe. They're not filled. Not, not enough food. beer. Not enough. <laughs> and then what do you do to them? Do you send them back? Recycle? And maybe just we, we, uh. Uh, um, we sell it. Oh, maybe just I want to buy one of these batteries. ones. Oh. I want to buy half full bottle because I can't drink a lot of beer. Oh, so they are disqualified. Probably they're so going to send them to the, uh, the, the stock port again. But, but you can see here, 
this this is see the flashing? Yeah. The flashing is actually it's checking how much beer is inside. Yeah. So when it notices there's not enough, it automatically kicks it off. Ah. Right? Yeah. So it would probably turn red. And then, then boom, boom, this part here it. kick it off to here. Yeah. Wow. So you really don't need a lot of people in here. Yeah. And if we could turn it around, you can see the taste of beer is now awaiting there. Things are going really fast. Are these bottles, are these cans also rejected? Maybe water? Oh, check the quality. Yeah, check it. Ah, so you need to do it manually sometimes. Sometimes. Or okay. maybe he just randomly chooses one. Yeah, just to make sure the quality is, is uh, there. maintained. Exactly. Oh. It is not moving. It's not moving here. Um, maybe he said the next machine is needed to check. Oh. Wow. So the only difference between the two assembly lines here and there, uh, so for them, they are 10. And there are beer bottles. and there are bottles of beer. Okay. And yes, bottles of beer is 10. Ah, 10 per second. Ten they are really busy. Are they more popular? Are they more popular than cans? Yes. Uh, ah. There's red caps, right? The red caps is bottle of beer for export. Ah, oh, so the red oh. cap is export. Wow. So in China, which color is the cap? Green. Green. Is it green? Okay. So for the red caps, if we if the lid is red, green. that means oh, okay, yeah. they are designed to be exported. Wow. I never knew that. It's good to know. <laughs> so next time we see it is red, so it is supposed to be exported, but they are sold in China. Is it possible that if you send can you find the red cap in China? Yeah. Can we? Yes, maybe in Qingdao. <coughs> in Qingdao, oh, okay. inside Qingdao. And I've also learned that in Qingdao, the beer, the quality is different than anywhere, I mean, in some other parts of China. Because you use different uh, water, it's like the Laoshan Spring. But, the, you know, there are so many from oh. all over China oh. who not only use Laoshan water, oh. some of the water in local water. It's reserved for Qingdao. Uh, yeah, but need nutrition to brew beer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're from China, so they can. Yeah. I mean, how about your go out strategy? Your go out strategy, you are exporting beers to some uh, other parts other of the country. world, across the world. So, what about your go out strategy? What's your uh, idea? Different standard for different countries. Ah. So, some countries would have better quality. Yeah. Maybe you think if you Oh. Yes. oh, they oh. like a different flavor. Different so it is flavor. not the quality, it is about flavor. Yes. So, so probably in Belgium, how about in Belgium? How about in Belgium, it is supposed to be bitter? Bitter, yes, uh. maybe a different alcohol. Oh, different so taste. So that's, that's the going out strategy, uh. is tailoring the right. beer to the market. Oh, oh this process, let's... Oh, this is this the is packaging, this is the packaging process. This is so fast. It can take 60 boxes for one minute. Oh wow. 60 boxes. Yeah. A minute, 60 boxes. Wow. It Each is, one has it is working really fast, I have to say. All of the uh, tins coming that way and they are going into this packaging part of it. Wow. And yeah. It's like, a, do you know the chocolate factory? Charlie Wonka. Yeah, have yeah. you seen that film? Oh yeah. This is very much like it, it but the beer version of it. Exactly. <laughs> Willy Wonka's beer factory. Yeah. <laughs> Willy Wonka's beer factory. So is what that? is this part? This is take box, uh, the bottles. Oh, okay. bottles in bottles the box. In box. Oh, you can ah. see very clearly here. So it's a different process. Wow. I'm wondering how many beers are here a lot. on this assembly line. <laughs> I can only say a lot. A lot. It's yeah. the most advanced uh, equipment in China. That is 8 million. Yeah. That is 8 million kiloliters of beer each year. Wow. A lot of beer. A lot of beer. Yeah. So and how long have you been working here? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Eight, eight, eight years, years already? Yes. Wow. A long you time. must be an expert. So now, what's the next stop? So there is an escalator. We need to go down. Yes. Go down there. And you find a souvenir souvenir. Uh huh. Oh, of course. So this is a souvenir place. Every museum has souvenir shop. Yeah. <laughs> we have got our souvenirs. They're absolutely cute. Oh, yeah, that was good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for the present. Yeah. Okay. 
And it is so considered where they have got, they have put our photos. Yeah. That's the label. Oh, we have bread here. Yeah. yeah. We have bread. Yeah. Beer bread. Ah. Made, made with the tuna beer uh -huh. yeast. Okay. Wow. So it is not only about beer, it is about the, uh, it's very much like they have upgraded the whole industry. And eat the bread and also probably some ice cream. I have heard. Ice cream. Ice cream. Beer ice cream. Beer ice cream. Beer ice cream. Beer oh. ice cream. Can we try? Yes, you can. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's try some beer ice cream. Wow. So many corridors, you have to turn corners all the time. It's very much like a, yeah, as I said, it's like really Willy Wonka's Wonka. beer factory. Oh, this is the ice cream. Ah, this is the uh, legendary beer ice cream. Is this chocolate flavor? Uh, it's stout black beer. Oh, so it's not chocolate flavor. Yeah. Would you like to try one? The I would love to. Raw uh, beer. Uh, I would like to try that. I don't know. I mean, that that's the looks like the original one. Original flavor, yeah. Ah, the original flavor. And this dark and flavor here, it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's, it's dark a, beer flavor. It's dark beer. I think the third one is the same. The same. And yeah. that is supposed to be blueberry and strawberry or something. But I would like to try the original one. Okay. 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 我能要一个这个原味的吗? 一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑的。一个黑